is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger Film. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with honor, love, gratitude, and respect. You make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely. You learn to have a perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 561, NASDAQ up 168, SP's up 62, gold contract down $28.90, trading at 1749 an ounce. We got silver down 28 cents, $22.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 97 cents, $73.20 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 19 ticks, trading 132.12. 30-year for full point, plus 20 ticks at 162.05. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down 432 ticks, trading at 93.031. We have huge divergence here, folks, in the dollar and the gold, which is a beautiful thing. Uh, I can tell you, and I'll tell you why. Uh, well, it, why is because the euro is topside the big way. The pound is topside the big way. They don't look to me like they're going to come back. That is saying the dollar is going to keep going lower. That is also saying that gold is going to go higher and you're going to get rejection of price. You're not going to get gold uh, as well as the dollar on a continual down. Well, one of them is going to be down and one of them is going to be up if, in fact, you get, you get the opposite effect. That's the real bottom line. You notice at 117, yen's at 110.25, and the British pound's at 137 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this close is really going to be important uh, because what you have here is this. You know, we get a nice bounce going. You get a contraction of volume going. What is happening is that the market's holding price. So if you hold price here, you're going to be up again tomorrow too. You don't hold price. This is going to be the end of the B2C of a very large potential ABC structure on the way down. And it's a classic, too. Uh, there's no doubt, you know, because you, you came down here with, what, 166 million. Um, you know, yesterday we had uh, 103 million. Today you get 53. What ends up happening is that, you know, we'll end up with 63 or something. That's what you normally see. You normally see that contraction happen. You're going into 118. That's crucial to understand. So we'll see where this shakes out coming into the close. You get the, uh, some of the, uh, that, that's on the SPY. NDX 100 is the same type of setup. NDX 100 is a little bit um, uh, weaker than the SPY, even though we, we have it up. I mean, it's up 378, up nice, three, 373, 35 we're at. The, the top, the, get the gap is 372, so you're already into that gap. A real bottom line is that where is it going to uh, close out when we're coming into this close here? Now, if we take a look at the NQs, what you're going to see inside the NQs right now, come on, baby, there we go. Inside the NQs right now, you know, you, you hit a high out here of uh, 347, 15,347. You're, you're still, you're off it by 30 points, but 30 points inside the Qs are nothing. But let me get this up. Come on, baby, here we go. Okay, so we pull this. I see what happens. I'm so used to this thing that way. What I'm trying to do is get it closer to me. Close in time. Okay, where am I pulling this in? Why is it not doing it? Uh, bottom line. Interesting. 
Okay, so we are right now. You're below. This is this is wild. Okay, so the way the Q the, the NQs are actually trading, folks. Okay, is that we can actually get back down to this low that was established out here this morning, at that uh, two sixty five. Let me make sure that's right now. Sorry, just two sixty five. Yeah, two sixty five. You're at three fifteen. So that's uh, that's not not that many more points lower, but that's how this thing looks. And if that's what you get, the bottom line is that what you're going to get there is that you have the potential ABC structure in place. Gold. Gold contract out here. You talk about divergence. This is real divergence, too, which is really cool, man. I love that. Okay. Divergence like this is really cool. And what I mean by that, folks, is this, is that when I, when I bring up the pound and when I bring up the uh, Euro, you're going to see just the power of that. And what we have here, and I actually w was going through this yesterday, um, meaning on another equity. So picture this. The first time that we came down in the gold contract, we came down with 290,000 contracts. That was established out here on the 9th of August. Then we came down last week with 250,000 contracts. You had 206,000 now. That's what you like to see. What I also want to see now, though, is a rejection of lower price. You know, we haven't got the rejection of lower price yet. You're, you're right down at that level. Bottom line is that I suspect we're going to get it. Notes and bonds. We want to get in that note and bond market, man, because what you have out here is that you have the 10-year right. I think it actually broke through the uh, bottom of this consolidation. Let's see what it looks like here. No, T, Y. Okay, so you're down 19 ticks. I don't think that's enough to get through it, actually. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So you have 1.8 million contracts. You broke through the bottom of it. And that sets up, right now we're 132.12. That sets up a 131.29. Uh, that's where we had strength going, going back to the uh, 7th of July. Let's go take a look at the TLT. TLT, this is a 20-year plus. This baby is back three dollars. You're at one forty-eight. You're coming into nineteen million to down sixteen. Okay, this is gonna need a little more volume to basically get cracked. Um, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. This also has not rejected lower price. King dollar. You're gonna see with King Dollar out here, bottom line, that came back fast and furious, took back everything that was up yesterday. And what you're gonna see here, we'll we'll put up the euro as well as the pound. The pound is the one that stopped moving first this morning, folks. You can see the euro came off the lows of 116.84. You're at 117.47. If we take a look at the pound, you're going to see the, the pound is the one that really moved first, and then the euro moved. The pound went from 136.12, 131. And what you actually do have is that now you have three higher lows, okay? Real close, but the bottom line is that we do have three higher lows inside of the marketplace. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow is uh, up 534, NASDAQ 163, S&P's up 58. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 545. You get the NASDAQ up 163. S&Ps are up 59. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and uh, see what we have moving that Dow Industrials out there. They're just all, the, well, they are all in the positive. Uh, you have uh, Salesforce. Salesforce, the big mover out there. That's putting 129 positive points. American Express, 41. Goldman, 39. Coke is the weak link uh, out there today, just barely flat. So CRM, let's take a look at Salesforce. I know they come out this morning and said, oh, look at this, it's going to be an ABC up. Oh, baby. Well, let's see. First off, if we do, let me see this. Might have retraced too much, but you're very well. It's going to be close. That's 61. Yeah, you got an ABC up. So let's take a look. Okay, so... You get uh, A's 240, 35 bucks, which is going to get you uh, 52, 62, 72, 82, 87, two, uh, 287. And right now we're at uh, 279. So big number out there. Let's go to Mark and Four Collins. What's going on, brother? How are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing great. Good. So I'm perplexed on a couple charts, and I need your help. So um, there's a few um, of kind of the commodity plays that I have been in, and they look like they were doing ABC ups, um, OIH, for instance, yeah. RIG, um, even the TGB, uh, the, that, the copper stock. Right. And it looked like they had broken swings with volume, looked like they were headed up on an ABC up, and then the bottom fell out several days ago, and they all came down on volume, not necessarily as much volume as they may have broken their B points on, but I'm trying to figure out where they're going. So no, I don't know I if you know. can take a look but at one know, or two of those and let me know what your thoughts are. No, this is pretty cool you're calling on this because I've been watching the OIH and one of our Tigers, I know that he's into it. So I've been just watching it in general. Um, and it's a close call. What Mark's saying here, folks, is this. This is a pretty, this is a real cool one to, to look at that you can see when you get a clean ABC structure in the way up, then you give it up. And you not only give it up, but like when we came down, what was that, Monday, right? That was, you know, you had some volume there. Now, w watch this, though. We, you had volume, you know, that 1.1 million. There's no doubt, man. And it's like, okay, so you're going only into like 600,000. We had 1 million um, almost, you know, the day before the low. And, you know, when I, when I look at this, Mark, it, it's, you know, yesterday, even I'm looking at it, I'm saying to myself, man, what is this doing? Because... It looked like a very clean ABC structure on the way up. And I really like how the highs look, like going back three and a half months ago. 
my take is that we're going to try to we're going to go for it again. I mean that you know you have a high with 1.4 million just uh, last week, and it looks to me like it's going to go for it again. Um, let's just go look at Exxon Mobil and Chevron, because both of those inside of that OIH is the largest. Oh, see that this is nice. Okay, so Exxon's up 193, and this is going to be. Okay, so let's see what we got here. It's not going to be an ABC yet, but this is breaking a consolidation. So you could take the top of that, which is, let's see, approximately the 56, 53, and then the bottom, 52. So like four points. That's going to get you somewhere into the 60s. So Exxon's saying it wants to go to 60 bucks. I don't think Exxon, just to, sorry to interrupt you, yeah. I don't, this is the, um, this isn't, Exxon's not in this as oh, far as Oh, okay, I that's know. right. This is the... The, the services. This yeah, is the like services. The that's like Schlumberger. And okay, and so let, let, thank you. I appreciate you basically letting me know that. Okay, so let's go look at SLB then and Halliburton. Okay, so Schlumberger, well, that's a good move too. Okay, this is good. So Schlumberger is up a buck seventy-three. That's kind of good. That's going for the top of the range. Halliburton... Same deal. Halliburton could use a little more juice, meaning, but it has, it has price. You know, I think what's happening here, it, it, what's so intriguing with me, to me, in this deal here, meaning the commodities going higher, is that they seem to, outside of oil, all the rest of them are really getting a lot of pressure, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, I mean, if you look at TGB, I, was, I mean, it looked like it was going to do an ABC up too, and it broke a swing with volume. Not, you know, it didn't break it in a big way price-wise, but it uh, and it backed off again. It did, and so it's, it's, it's you know, I agree, and it still has that high volume at 201 though, which is saying it's going to be right back topside. And they're they're, tra they're trading just like these gold and silvers, man. You know, right. like today is so bizarre, it's unbelievable. Meaning that you have gold down $29. The dollar's down 427. I mean, you know, the GDX is only off. Uh, where's the GDX on that? It's not off a lot, uh, and it shouldn't be because because the bottom line is that uh, if I looked at both of those, that's telling me well the GDX is down 53 cents. Well, we want this to hold. Uh, GDX 30.07. We want it to hold. We're underneath that right now at 29.95. Um, 26 million. You're at 26. You're at 20 million. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's a tough one, Mark. Meaning that technically, how they've set up is that they're still saying they want higher price. They haven't been able to hold price, which is a problem. And then you look at the aspect of the divergence that we have out here today. But my take is that these things are going a lot higher, and and it and, and it's flat out because of inflation. It's you know, you know. So we'll see how this shakes out. But that, that's okay. You know? Yeah, I'm glad, at least you're kind of as perplexed as I am. So yeah, oh, there's, there's no doubt, man. There's no doubt. And in that texture of being perplexed, what I have definitely seen, and you've seen it too, um, when you get the aspect that you think something is not going to move, not going to move, should move, should move, and then keeps not moving, not moving, and then it moves in an incredible way. And most times you're going to get that move where you think it was going to go, which is topside, after it's got hammered so bad. Yeah. But we both know that, hey, guess what? That being said, tomorrow um, is going to be a big day inside the commodity market in general. You know, but yeah. every, every time that, it, it just, well, not every time. This, I would say that for the amount of bread that is out there, um, you know, these commodities are going higher. You know, one of the tigers are saying, you know, that he thinks that the property market curbs are hurting metals, you know, mining. Um, I, I can see that, you know, if we look at iron ore, what you've, you know, I can see it in steel. I can't see it in, you know, gold and silver, that's for sure. But, you know, guess what? The bottom line is that, you know, we know that uh, these are small markets and they can, they can hit it and they can hit it pretty good. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. All right. Cooking, brother. Have Goodbye. a great have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go look at some of the higher volume equities uh, out here in this market, folks. And we have right now, you have, uh, let's
Let's see. Ford's up uh, 46 cents. You got uh, Pelletier. Pelletier is up uh, 124. Uh, American Airlines, 36 cents. You get Advanced Micro up $1.96. Inside of the NDX. Let's see what the strength versus the weakness is, is inside the NDX. And we have the strength is uh, Marriott is up 3.8%. You get Moderna up 3.5%. Activision is up 2.9%. Taken away from Machada. Communications off 1.3. C Gen's down 1.1. Rest of them are pretty, pretty flat. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 540, 548, NASDAQ up 167, S&P's up 59. Let's go take a look at the yen because we know that uh, the yen, uh, where the yen goes, moves gold. There's no two ways about that, and meaning... Is this, it's a inverse correlation. You know, the, the yen gets weaker, gold gets weaker. Yen gets stronger, bottom line, gold goes to the moon. And so if we're taking a look at the yen out here, right now the yen's up 47 uh, ticks. And yeah, this is a strong move. So I can see what one of these tigers is saying. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So what's the top of that range? Well, one, one ten eighty. I don't. I don't see. Oh, this gets interesting. Okay, so let's look at this. So, 
If we put this up, let's take this. Oh, it's going to get interesting, yeah. Okay. So this this did break this trend line, man. That's saying 111. I see 111.19. I don't see 116 yet. Let me see. Okay. Let me find out where this tiger's getting 116. Put this on a longer-term basis. Well, 111.66 the big one. Okay. So we'll see where that shakes out. That that very well might be the reason that uh, this baby's uh, pulling back on the other side. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we take a look at, uh, let's see, I believe Vale for a couple of the tigers out here. Okay, this is Valley. And this baby's all about, well, it shouldn't be all about, I, well, no, it can be all about iron ore because they, this is one of the biggest iron ore producers in the world. Um, last, uh, this went south from $23 down to $14.80. Now let's put this on a weekly. Okay, so you've broken. Oh, you're going to take a little more heat in this, man. This looks like 1367. You go back to the breakout area. You get volumes out here in the weekly. Yeah, this is going to take some more heat. Let's go see what iron ore is doing. So iron ore right now. And this iron ore, this will. There, now here's something that there is no two ways about it that affects uh, China, affects the iron ore market in a monster way. I mean, if you've uh, ever seen how China can build, um, it's pretty incredible. Uh, bottom line is that that is going to be problematic right now. There's no doubt. Evergrande, um, you know, that's going to be one big mess that they're going to try to smooth out as much as they can. And iron ore right now is going at 67 bucks, And it's been a one-way route, actually, from, uh, well, 672 on this one versus uh, 1262 and it looks to me that that uh, baby, well, let's take a look. Put this on. Oh, I see. I know. Let's see how we do this. I O E. I O E. What I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. I O E 1. E 1. I O E 1. Let's see if that works. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I was trying to get the generic one, so let's, we have it now. Okay, so the difference with the generic one, folks, is that you can go back as far as you want, and that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, so if we take this, put this on about a 15-year monthly. Hmm. Yeah, you take this in a monthly, man. I know it can get back to, oh my God, 440 or something. So you better be careful with that uh, uh valley no doubt let's go to john in orlando hey john what's going on john how you been man tom how are you I'm how's doing, your afternoon going i'm doing great man yourself good good I, i'm looking I, I already got in um into a firm and i got a good profit in it but what do you think of their business model so let's see what they have here. Firm, uh, low is 46, the high is 146. It's up eight bucks today. Uh, they build next generation for digital mobile commerce. Let's see what we have here, the revenue. So tell me what they do. Well, they sign an agreement with uh, Amazon and the shop owns 8% of them. Um, what they do is they do financing on big ticket items uh, oh. for 12 months, 18 months, like 24 months. Yeah, it's the, it's the buy, it, you know, buy now, pay later, right? Okay, okay, I right, get it, right. I get it. Hey, listen, man, you know, the lending business has always been big. <laughs> and now what you do, folks, is that everyone, the, the, most of these people are going to be broke forever with the, the amount of junk they're going to buy. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, listen, man, this has a high volume high out here at, at, you know, the 126. That's where you're going to have to be careful. That's the real bottom line. I mean, the stock just went from $76 to 121. And, right. you know, right. so um, now, now did it do that? They, because is the Amazon buying them or something or just making a deal with them? No, no, they made a deal and they shot up like $31 on that day. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. But uh, shop shop owns 8 percent of it. Yeah, and then they have a deal with the biggest uh, online, you know, market, which is Walmart, Shop, and and Amazon. I think 
it's a long-term hold. What do you think? Um, I would no, I would not do that. <laughs> yeah, <No>. yeah. <laughs> I, you know, when when, it, when an equity goes uh, that far up and they still don't make money, yeah. Um, you know, that yeah, okay. this 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 is this is a business. Okay, so picture this. This is a business that Amazon could get into a, in a second. And if, as soon as they made the deal with them, you know, maybe it's a five-year deal, 10-year deal, I don't know what the deal is. But the bottom line is that if Amazon sees them making, you know, really goops of money, uh, the bottom line, you know, it doesn't take Amazon five months to, to work on something like this and all of a sudden, in fact, I don't know why they haven't done it. They, they opened like a small bank a couple years ago. Do you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd be, yeah. you know, you're in a great trade right now, but um, no, it's you and I could open this freaking thing right now. I mean, it, you know, you get a good software writer, um, buy now, pay later. I mean, the bottom line is that, you know, there's plenty of programs out there right now you, you, where all you're really talking about is that what is the credit worthiness of the person and what is your spread? Do you know what I'm saying? You know, so. Right, right. Yeah. Any competition will it'll, it'll hit it hard. Well, there's competition. I, the, the, in that business right now, there's three or four uh, companies that are pretty big anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but yeah. it, it's 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 like the New Deal. There's no doubt that you know it's like you know layaways have been around forever, folks. And this this is a layaway. Except the difference is that I believe you get your goods, then you pay for them. Okay. So I mean, I yeah. grew up with layaways. I grew up. So so you want to hear something wild, folks? Okay. Depending on which city you're in, you know, I remember the day that, so what ended up happening is that you'd have sales guys knock on doors, door to door, right? And they'd, you'd, you'd, they'd sell you goods, and then they come by every Friday when everyone get paid, and then people would either give them $3, $5, $10, and that was, that was how business was done, um, you know, like 1957 yeah. to by basically was probably over by... 62 63 but before that you know but i actually saw that it was like wow this is wild man how this works <laughs> you know so hey let me tell you a story of when my uh, grand uh, uh came to the u.s he used to go door to door with with uh, women's clothing on, the, on his back yeah and no that's exactly what i'm talking listen yeah. i saw it yeah that's how uh, yeah. it was normal right i know pretty cool man yeah, yeah. Have yeah. a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, the small caps out here. I believe that's what we want. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Yeah, so let's take a look at the small caps. They got a good little run going out here today. So we're up 41 bucks. I'm going to use the, I'm going to put the IWM on this just so I can, well, actually, let me see. Huh? I don't think. I get the volumes on these. I don't think you actually. Yeah, so let's do the IWM. We'll give you the price and volume simultaneously. Okay, so your small caps, IWM's up 417. I mean, this, this to me is going to the top of the range once again. Uh, that range is going to be the 279, uh, 229.84. Uh, now, the thing that's intriguing about this one here. Uh, you know, you, you have, you certainly have the uh, small uh, to mid-sized uh, oil equities and commodity equities going up, and the gold and silver is not going with it. If they go with it too, you're going to see that uh, go up big time, even even with markets. If if in fact there is an ABC structure on the way down happening, if we go take a look at Titan International (TWI) now Titan TW TWI, right? Yeah. So Titan International, this is uh, up 22 cents right now. The low for the year is 254. The high is 1182. Uh, this baby here, now this has to do also with the commodity business, the mining business, the development business, all of the above. Okay, they, they, these guys make, uh, you know, let's see. So wheel systems for off highway equipment, agriculture, construction, mining, military, recreational. Uh, and if you've ever seen these tires, man, I mean, it's so cool. You got to Google some of these mines, folks, with, with these tires, because these tires are like incredible how, how big they are. Um, if we take a look at this right now, let's put this on a weekly. Okay, so you're back to strength. Yeah, this is right now. So this would end up happening with this. This, this had a nice expansion. If we bring this back, uh, I don't have a date on this. This had a nice expansion. It started from $1.21, goes all the way up to $13.82, pulls back to uh, seven, no, $6.86. That was uh, basically about uh, three months ago. We just tested that area, and you're going to test it with tremendously lighter volume. Now, something like this I, I, I dig, too. When, this is the second test that we've had at this level, okay, which is really cool. The first time down was 686 on a weekly with 1.6 million shares. We, then we came down with 1.3 million. You tested it again last week with 1.5 million, and check this out. Oh, this is really good, man, uh, because we only have 825,000 this week. So that's, that's what you'd like to see. The, ener the market, folks, is all about energy, okay? And... In this particular case, we would, we, because the stock's going down, you're saying, okay, what type of energy do we have? And you can see quite clearly that when we, when we did come down, you know, uh, basically uh, two months ago, you came down with the 1.6 million. Three weeks ago, you came down trying to test it with 1.3. We got into it with 1.5, and now 
you're talking about you're not even going to have a million shares. It's lucky you're going to have a million shares on the week. Okay, so that's saying that now what you're going to look for is you're going to look for a sign of strength. That's, that's what you're going to look for after this. Let's go take a look at Microsoft for a couple of the Tigers out here. And Microsoft right now is up $1.19. Um, you know, if you were just listening to our man, Mr. Dave White, um, there's no doubt, man. I mean, you know, uh, when you get a market that's up five and 600 points, Microsoft should be ripping, right? Uh, it's the strongest stock, has been the strongest stock in the marketplace. And it's only up $1.24. You get volume that's contracting. We came down with volume. Microsoft looks to me like it's in a consolidation. So uh, bottom line is that what you're going to have, you're going to get a retest of the lows uh, that are established out here on Monday, which is the 289.53. And then we'll see, we'll go from there. And just to go back to Valley for a second, this is in, in important, and thanks, thanks for bringing this up, uh, Ken, is that what you did have out here is that Valley also went uh, ex-dividend today, I believe. That's what he's saying, which makes a huge difference, man. I mean, um, you know, that's why you see that gap down. You know, if, and if you don't understand how that works, folks, uh, the bottom line is that when you get paid a dividend, that dividend normally comes right out of the, the equity. That's how it kind of, that's how, that's how it kind of works. Um, you know, sometimes what ends up happening is that you get such a strong day in the marketplace that you can go ex-dividend and it can stay flat. And if, if that happens, man, you're in heaven. I mean, <laughs> in a monster way. There's no doubt about it because... Um, the bottom line is that these dividends, they add up, man. They add up in a big way. There's no doubt about it. So let's go take a look at the GDX, because the GDX, no doubt, um, this low is important. Uh, we're below the low that I'm talking about that is important, um, because what you've done here is that you've broken your swing. Your swing's $30.64. Now, granted, it's on light volume, uh, but the bottom line is that, okay, you need a rejection of lower price. That's, that's the real bottom line. 20, 28.71. Okay, so 28.71 is game here. You know, I can't, you know, we'll see how it reacts there. 28.71 is the f downdraft that was created, I believe, uh, yeah, going right into, uh, yeah, last March. And it's going to take quite a bit in order to basically, you know, take that baby out, meaning get lower than that because the volume is so extraordinary at that particular point. Um, you know, we'll see, where, we'll see where it shakes out. XAU, HUI, we take a look at the uh, two uh, indices out here. XAU right now is down 226. You're trading 120.44. This also broke the consolidation. This is going to be going to be also coming into monster volume, though. Uh, give me that, baby. So in a weekly, in a weekly, it's going to be tremendously light of volume, 120. It's kind of, this is kind of a no man's land right now. What is the top of this? It's 111. It's 120. So, okay, so right now, you're going into the strength that was out there going all the way back to April of uh, 2024. That's how that baby is running right now. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at this marketplace as we come into the close. Uh, first, we'll go to the NQs because, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, is that uh, we haven't got much movement in the NQs, but what you do have in those NQs, why is this one won't do it? So weird. One second, hold it. I got it on this one. When I say not do it, I can push it out more here. Let me put this one up here. Okay, so if we put this one up here, what you're going to see is this. So this bar here, ah, there it is. Okay, this bar, where are we? NQZ, yeah, here it is right here. The bar that's at uh, 15,265 uh, is actually game, you know? But I know that sounds like a, a lot right now, uh, 45, uh, 55, it's 60 points lower. So that would get the NQs under 100 or up 150. We'll see where it shakes out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 511. Nasdaq's up 155. S&Ps are up 55. So Nike. Nike's coming out with numbers after the close today, folks. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, 415, they'll come out. They're going to be looking to do 12.5 uh, billion to the top line, a buck 12 to the bottom line. That being said, uh, up Nike's up two dollars and three cents right now. Uh, this looks to me like you're going to go right back into this gap. You know, we did with Nike. You know, Nike's off a high of uh, 174. It's down on Monday to uh, 152. You get that monster gap that's there. You know, you get some. The volume's not bad out here today. It's $8 million, but, you know, the, the bottom line, the way this is set up, um, that, that gap is just wide open with a um, large magnet that looks like it wants to bring it down. But we're gonna, we'll get that number uh, ASAP coming into the close. I can't believe how fast an hour just went, man. This is like crazy. <laughs> it really is. Um, if we, let's take a look at the ETF structures and see where we stand right now. So on the SPY... It really held price. I mean, you just buy 444.89. You know, you're off it a little, but that's holding, still a holding price. Uh, we take a look at the Qs. The Qs right now are up 349. Yeah, you're holding price there too. I mean, you're you're off by a buck, but that's 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 not uh, conducive to saying that okay, you're going to go right back downtown tomorrow, or that you've done the B to C of the ABC structure on the way down. That. The, the ultimate here of an ABC down, more than likely, the way this is set up, is that you'll get 
over the high even of today, tomorrow, and you'll have another contraction of volume. That would be pretty amazing. So we're going into 66 million, and the queues have done 38. You get the gist of it. There's less buyers. This is what bounces are all about, you know. And, you know, we'll see how that shakes out. The bottom line is that we've had three of these before, and guess what? It's just blown right by them and went to the highs. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happies, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Building wealth 